What? You dirty motherfucker! If you guys are looking for fast, cheap, reliable coins for your college football 25 team, check out my coin sponsors at MMOXP and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. The champ is here! Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Snipping out the college cheese as always. In today's video, I got another gameplay using the BYU Cougars. And today, I'm going to be going against a much better team once again in the Notre Dame Fighting Irish. And despite having a much better team, my opponent's not going to take it easy on me as I'm going to be going against one of the most annoying offenses I've ever faced in college football 25. But before I do, if you guys want to see more videos like this, please make sure to be a subscriber. Hit the like button let me know in the comment section. And if you need more help and more money plays, you can download any of my ebooks instantly simply by clicking links in the description or the top pinned comment. Comment. Now, before I start this game, I just want to point out the difference between these two teams, as my opponent literally has a 10 point or more advantage in every category, offense, defense, and the overall team. So I'm already at a huge disadvantage before this game even starts. So of course, the second the game starts, I have to set up my depth chart, but this guy's not even going to give me time to do that, as he immediately hits the start button to try to get back in the game, giving me only 30 seconds to do this. Oh, you motherfuckers. <laughs> okay. My game doesn't start off very good either as I try to run a speed option play. <laughs> and I don't know if he meant to do that, but if he did, he made a hell of a play on the ball as I basically gave him a touchdown to start the game. How bad can it get? Just how goddamn bad can it get? On the next series, when I get to second and one, I figure I could always pick up that one yard later. So I try to go deep to get a quick score, but I get a horrible overthrow. And then on third and one, I try to run an option once again and get pushed backwards once again. I decided to go for it, figuring there's a number of ways that I could get two yards, but this game just has it out for me right now. I cannot see, I'm legally blind. And then he scores again two plays later to make it a 14 0 lead at the beginning of the first quarter. You son of a bitches! You don't deserve a locker room! You don't deserve a locker room the way you're playing right here! You should be playing without uniforms, you should be playing with jock straps! So now I'm down two scores early against a much better team. So I gotta score quickly, but I can't even complete a simple pass. Every time we get ready to play, I just wanna throw up. I'm goddamn sick of watching you guys play. The offense I'm using is once again the gun spread flex, and since I gotta score quickly, I decide to use the PA deep outs on the very next play, which is a one play touchdown against every single defense in the game that I recently broke down in a practice mode. So if you guys wanna learn how to use this play, I'll have links in the description as well as on screen at the end of the video, so stick around for that. As it looks like he's in a cover two zone, so I don't have to make any adjustments. Break yourself, fool! As we at least make this game a little bit closer with a touchdown. And now that he's got the full length of the field to go, I finally get to see what his offense looks like as he runs the ball in the first play and then runs turbo the rest of the game. Which means that he can't make any adjustments, but it also means that I don't have time to make any on defense. Now you do get the option to basically change plays, but you can't make any hot routes. So every single play he's gonna run is gonna be stocked. But making hot route adjustments will slow the offense down anyways. As you can see, I don't even have time to pick my user before the play starts. As I have no time to get set up or align where I want to align my defenders, and he goes right down the field of me. Before I'm eventually saved by the end of the quarter. Time out! So now I gotta be careful before I pick my next defense since I know he's probably gonna trap me in it for the rest of the drive. So since he's running and passing, I wanna pick something that can defend against both. So I go back to my Nickel Blitz 3 defense that I put out in a gameplay video just a couple of days ago, as this gives me enough size for run defense and enough speed for pass coverage. And on the very next play, you can see exactly why I like Cover 3 Match. Thank 
you. Windows tinted on my ride, but I drive it. As the second we get to change defenses, we pick it off and we're taking it to the house for the score. On the next drive, he goes right back to that hurry up, but we're starting to shut him down with this new defense. As we stopped around the first play and almost get an interception on the second. What? So the next annoying part of his offense is to simply chuck it up deep and try to rocket catch over my defenders. You got most. And I don't know how he hung onto that ball. From here though, his offense is pretty vanilla. As the only thing special about it is really the speed at which he plays, as it really doesn't allow me much time to set up any adjustments on my defense. But it pretty much evens out since he can't make any adjustments or hot routes on the offense either before he gets inside the red zone and decides just to run the ball from here. That? But he's been having so much success running this turbo offense that I decide I'm going to start trying it myself. So in the next series, we're going to hurry up ourselves and try to hit him with a cover three bomb. And it would have worked, except for some reason my receiver stopped running the route. Oh, come on! There's not one of you, not one of you that's learned how to win. But we want to kill the rest of this clock before half anyway, so I hit him with a bunch of dink and dunk pass plays, hitting some drags and some underneath routes to the running back to get down the field in a hurry. As we get a huge drag on the next play to get inside the red zone before dotting up the tight end on a corner route to get inside the 10 and then finishing it off by hitting that same tight end right over the middle to tie the game at half. On the next drive, he runs hurry up regardless of the result as the real benefit that he's getting is the fact that he's running hurry up. So it doesn't matter that he doesn't complete the first pass as he runs a hurry up and goes right back to the same target. Because even if I know where the ball's going, it doesn't matter since I can't get my defense set. But I do have enough time to at least change plays over to cover one man, but for whatever reason, this man defender doesn't match his actual assignment. As he's supposed to cover this receiver in the slot, but for some reason double teams this other player instead. E, 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 e. I don't know if that's a result of the turbo or not, but I've noticed that happens quite a bit in Madden when it comes to man coverages. As my opponent has an easy touchdown, but decides to showboat instead, going down at the one. And he's probably going to score anyway, so we switch over to man zero blitz and run commit as we get the stop on the first play before he tries to hurry me up and do it again. And we run commit and get the stop once again. Now, typically somebody gets stuffed on the one twice in a row ain't going to try it for a third time. So I'm expecting a little bit of a pass as we come out in that man zero blitz once again and see the running back leak out into the flats. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. For probably one of the most satisfying defensive touchdowns that I've ever had, and it was also by the same player that scored the last defensive touchdown, as he now has two in the game. Fuck you! The downside of scoring on defense, though, is now I gotta face his annoying offense once again, and I know my defense is tired and probably needs a break, as we're doing a pretty good job despite the fact that he's running this relentlessly and my defense is just wearing down, although it looks like he's at least changing running backs. As he goes to this running back multiple times, and you can start to see that he's starting to lose acceleration and speed as he's getting noticeably slower before we get bailed out by the end of the quarter. And you can see my entire defense is straight gassed before he changes running backs and goes right back to it. As we get him to a fourth and short with a small hope that we can get off the field, but it's almost impossible not to pick up inches in this game if you run the ball, before he breaks a big run to get inside the five, and we just start run committing from cover zero once again, as it feels like he ran the ball ten times in a row at this point. And since he threw a pick six the last time he was in this situation, he tries to run a speed option instead. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. And this time we're going to get a fumble six as we're going the other way for this second most satisfying defensive touchdown I ever had. And I don't know how this guy even has enough energy to run the length of the field. But the game's not over yet because this guy already proven to be a rocket catch master. As he goes up over the top and somehow scores just two plays later. And then he also decides to go for two as it's now a touchdown to win game. As he goes for two, we can see all the wear and tear effects this is having on his team, but it doesn't seem to be affecting his quarterback when he bombs it up, so it really makes me question how much wear and tear it really does. As he tries to get the onside kick, How about new? So now all we have to do is keep the clock moving and potentially kick a field goal, but on the first two plays he relatively shuts me down, forcing me into a third and long from here, and I get close to the first down, but now I'm kind of in no man's land. If I try to kick a field goal and make it, I'd be up nine, which would essentially end the game, but field goals from this distance are very tough, so instead I decide to go for it, and when I see him press his cornerbacks into what looks like a man coverage, I switch to the Z-spot dig with the game on the line as I need this zig route to get open, and sure enough, it gets wide open, and we almost score from here, taking it all the way down to the one yard line, before switching over to a Q be sneak 
two seconds later. Or not, as he rocket catches me on the very next play to stay alive, before bombing it up to the other side of the field this time in the corner of the end zone. You got most and this guy just won't go away. As he tries the onside kick one more time and fails. And we're not taking any chances. This is all out of timeouts. And we're giving this guy knees. As I don't want to play this cheesy fucker for another second. So that's, that's the video. If you guys want to see more about the offense that I was using to stay in this game, I'll have that popping up on screen. So just click the links. And until next time, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.